So, here's the thing. I've been photographing by this window, window light. Uh, photos of my kids, kind of like studio photos. And I, I might just quickly show you one, how they turn out. I'm shooting at ISO uh, about 250-300 on those photographs and they come out amazingly well really good quality images um, no grain when I shoot on video however and I get the ISO right to get good exposure like this I get you know 3000 um, and above ISO and I get all this grain and I just don't <laughs> don't understand why and maybe it's something to do with going from photo to video and you just need more light for video yeah help me out maybe in the comments below and yeah, I'm gonna unbox my uh, camera box where all my gear sits so it's a few things um, but all the little bits the important bits sit over there hate it when you get these and don't get me wrong this is a good tripod but you get these fiddly little bloody bits that you have to kind of do one at a time and then the other one <sighs> can't they can't all trial pads be you know you kind of push a button bang get it to the right height release the button and then bang and surely they make sense. I'm going to be using this thing, which by the way is not in my bag, and I'm going to show you the unboxing of this baby, um, which is not an expensive Pelican. I bought it for 50 bucks uh, from my local hardware store. Um, sort of a Home Depot if you're in America, a Bunnings store if you're in Australia. Um, it's not even meant for photography gear, so you'll see what I've done. Ah, not very good at top downs, so you'll have to bear with me on this one. So, two clamps on the side, it's got a spot here um, for a uh, bolt. And it's got another spot here for a bolt. You open it up. The top lid has this foam for protection. I guess it's really meant for, you know, um, some sort of sensitive gear. So on the front of all of my lenses, I have these uh, little notes so that I can very quickly see um, what my lenses are. So here's a 100 uh, f2.8. Here's my standard kit lens, 28 to 80. Um, hey, where's my other lens? Um, here's my 50 mm um, Here's a spare battery, which really doesn't actually belong here. So this little doodah is is pretty cool. You you slide it into your tripod. And you can very very quickly slide it out and slide it back in and you get a 90 degree angle from um, landscape to portrait um, pretty useful i slot that in here here's my two speed lights um, just very cheap uh, young newers work exceptionally well there's a very small trigger that i use for um, occasionally triggering my phone, um, sorry my camera, these are white balance cards which I guess I can use to um, uh, to balance the, <laughs> the color grade of this video. Um, here's the trigger for the Yongnuo um, uh, speed lights which goes over there. This is a box of filters uh, which to be honest I don't really use. Um, these ones in particular are, are magnifying um, additions for macro, macro work an extra lens and lens cap um, which I'm not sure where they come from but anyway 
Here's my previous camera, which is a 450D, uh, which is just, yeah, how the kids play with it. Uh, backup camera. Here's a few lens hoods from um, a couple of these lenses. Um, here's my, I guess my pride and joy at the moment, which I really enjoy shooting with. It's the 72 um, to 200. This is in their four, so it's the cheaper, but more importantly, it's the lighter version, um, which I can still put on the tripod with any sort of a, uh, attachments. It's just a, uh, a fantastic lens. Um, beautiful background blur on this one. That's pretty much it. Um, if you take this out, I did a cutout on this um, to get everything to fit. Beneath that is my second layer of cutout. And beneath that still is just the regular padding. So it has three layers in it. Um, and that's pretty much it for this box. For, for what you pay, uh, it, it, to my mind, it's pretty much the equivalent of the, of the Pelican. And um, you can really, really customize it well uh, to, to your own setup. Hope you like it. So there you have it, that's my fake Pelican Pelican. Um, actually, I shouldn't use a brand name, I suppose. Am I even allowed to? Jeez, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's my homemade camera case. Um, the 50 bucks Australian, I'm not sure what that is in American, but probably 38, 40 bucks. Um, and it, I think it works pretty well. I've taken it everywhere with me. The case itself is fairly light, um, but I think robust enough to to be pretty useful. Other equipment that I have is a couple of backdrops, a ton of light stands, a ton of umbrellas, two soft boxes, um, this tripod, Joby tripod, the um, dead cat with a micro road pro, no, road micro um, microphone on top of the camera, and not much else really. So those bigger bits and bobs stay somewhere else. Um, but all the small things is what you see in there. So not a lot of kit really um, that I've got, but pretty useful to have it all in one place, pick it up and, and go. And I know it's protected. Oh, the other thing is there is a rubber seal. I don't know how watertight it is, to be honest. Um, I think a light drizzle and a fairly light rain I'd be okay with. Um, torrential rains, uh, I guess I should test it out, you know, put it out in the garden somewhere and just soak it in water with all the kit out. And then open it up and see if it's still dry, you know, really hose it down from all angles. Then I'll know if it's waterproof enough or not. Pretty sure it would be. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening and hopefully catch you guys soon. Cheers.